is Bonnie. Namaste. My name is Bonnie and I'm a sailor from Heart and Tomato Therapy and Wellness in Abraham. Please join me today for a light, gentle heart healing and opening practice. We will bring in some fun. Find yourself in a comfortable seat, perhaps on a cushion or a bolster or a pillow. Move your knees lower than your hips. Notice your sitting bones rooting into the earth as the crown of your head reaches towards the divine and the shoulders are coming away from the ears. Spine taller, slightly tucking our chins and allowing your palms to face up. Take a deep breath in, expand your belly, then open your mouth and allow a sigh to escape. Breathing in. Ah. Another breath in. Another. Ah. One more time. Breath in. Ah. And then allow your awareness to scan your body. Notice your sitting bones supported by the earth. Notice how your lower spine feels elongated. Safety comes in here. Notice the comfort with your hips, having the pressure off them, feeling comfortable, feeling accepting of this posture. Notice your belly expanding and condensing with each inhalation and exhalation. Bring in an element of control, self-control. And notice your heart space, that tender, loving heart shining forward. <sighs> notice your throat space, the feeling of your breath, the back of your throat. Settling in. Notice the third eye, middle of the forehead, trusting your intuition. Please bring your hands to your heart center. Let your thumbs press into the sternum. Notice your energy flowing to that sensation. Be mindful of what is present for you. Your energy flows where sensation goes. Breathe into your heart space. Feel yourself. Allow whatever comes up to be there. It's okay. It's really okay. No attachment. Taking a deep breath in, we're all together. So breathing in. Um. Allow your hands to find your knees. As your head falls towards your heart space. Feeling gratitude for this practice, for each other, for yoga, and anything else that brings a grateful feeling into your heart, a lightness, as your head comes to center. And begin to, to make little half moons on your chest, dropping your head and going side to side, committing to doing no harm to yourself during our practice, committing to being kind to yourself, Letting go of any expectation of how you should practice or how you should look or how you should feel. Letting it come with comfort, ease, and grace. You know, where you belong right now. And this practice is just for you. Bring your head to center, please. And let your head rock side to side. Side to side. No intention of letting your ear reach your shoulder. Breathing in and out. On the next time that your head comes to the right, gaze up and then release the jaw. Uh, see how it feels to breathe. And let that tension of the jaw just drift away. Inhale and exhale. Put your head to the other side. And then turn your head to gaze up, releasing the jaw. Uh, 
Just let it go. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice if maybe you have been holding tension in the jaw. Maybe commit to not doing that today. And then the hips will come to center. Inhale your shoulders up. Hold your breath for a moment. Ah, not fun. And exhale with a ah. That's fine. Inhale, shoulders up one more time. Hold your breath for a moment. Ah, let it go. And then one last time. Come off your crop. Set that aside. You may keep it with it. I like it. Come on to tabletop pose. Bring your knees under your hips and your hands a little bit ahead of your shoulders, not directly at them. Take your feet between your knees. Make sure you don't see your feet. Elongate your spine and neck. And you will touch. your hips go side to side. Continue to breathe with an expansion and exhale, expand, and in, inhale, expand, and exhale to condense, and then come to center. Take your right foot behind you. Come your toe under. Inhale, on the exhale, take a peek at that foot. And you may not see it. You may, I don't know. And then inhale, Feel the ribs expanding from the right side and condensing. Ah. And then take that right foot, circle it around so that it's flat on the earth. And then inhale, reach up, open your heart, feel the power within. And let your hand drift towards the leg and come up and over, inhaling and exhaling. Ah, soften your shoulders, flow with ease and grace. Let your heart settle. Be kind to yourself throughout the practice. Don't overdo it. It's just not needed. And then on the next inhalation, arm comes up, over, and you can reach for the earth. And maybe you you stay here. It's great. Maybe this leg floats up and you touch your foot. You can gaze up at your hand, or you can turn down. <sighs> Whatever you do, let it be yours. Let it feel good. And drop this leg. Come on back up to inhale. Yay! And then exhale. Come down back to tabletop position. Once you get here, align yourself again. Let the tension that builds up in our hips release, just going side to side. And inhaling, drawing the left leg along behind you, crossing it behind the right, curling the toe under, and taking a look at your toes if that's accessible. Inhaling and exhaling, giving your thoughts light. Maybe you decide you need a pencil or something. Inhale, and exhale. When that foot comes around, hands on the earth, and you inhale yourself right up. Ah, feel how good that is. And then bring your hand down, reach up and over. Inhale, exhale, softening shoulders. Finding what's true for you. Then you'll bring your right hand down. Thank you. Be in this position here. And then come on up. So reach up and over. Ah, easy. Feel these ribs expanding, opening up the intercostal muscles. Making you feel good. Make sure you have weight in this foot. And as you're ready, bring your hand down. Leg can float up if it feels like it. Reach up, maybe. Head might turn up. Keep breathing. Maybe turn your head down. It's always your choice. It's your practice. Another breath here. Ah. And then turn down back to table. And bring your toes together to 
touch, the knees will come wide, and mount your hips back into your child pose. Option two, stack your fists, give your head rest in here, take nice breaths here, expanding the belly, condensing, feel your breath at the back of your heart, breathing in, breathing out. Ah. Feel safe and secure in this pose. Add yourself back up. And come into uh, what I call the, the wheel of child pose. So we're going to inhale, drop the belly, exhale, round the spine. And come to a child pose for just a second. We're going to inhale to look up, exhale, round the spine. Inhale. Looking up, cow, exhale, round your spine, into cat. Do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale, round the spine. Then come and sit on your feet. And this pose is a feel you encourage yourself to look to a pose and bring your knees to heart center for just a moment. Settling here. Now start to do a little thump your heart space. Feel that. Feel your heart chakra. Feel what's in here. Let it be as it is. And then your hands can fall to your knees. Take a breath in and breath out. Curl your toes under as they're already curled under. And watch your hips rise. Feel it to a forward fold. Take a moment to sway here, side to side. Soften your knees, take bending and the other. Ah, let it be easy. Maybe you're bending, you're bending so much that your hips wide your belly. And then walk your hands forward, walk your feet back, down facing dog. You can always bend your knees for this. Rotate your shoulders in. Let your head hang heavy. So then just bend one knee and the other. Walking your dog. Mm. Ah. Bend the long feet to hands and hands to feet. Bend your knees. Bring your arms out to the side. Lower the bell swoop. Hands come up overhead. Reach up, bring your palms together, palm comes to your heart center. And once we find our mountain pose, we find our mountain pose. Find your whole foot, come forward and back, side to side. Soften your knees, stack your joints, lean over ankles, hips over knees, shoulders over your hips, slightly tuck your chin. Your hands out to the side if that feels good for you. Take a moment to find a dress you, just staring at something ahead of you. Breathing in and breathing out. Let your breath anchor you, keep you safe throughout your practice and throughout your life. Breathing in and breathing out. Ah. Step your feet apart. Toes pointing out. And from the start, inhale, reach up and look up. Spin your pinky fingers in and notice what it feels like to be in this pose without judgment, being kind. Don't try to make the shape that I'm making or anybody else. This is the shape you're making. And let your arms drop. Step into warrior one. You bring your left foot in front and your right foot behind. And it's not your rock track, so. Right foot in front and left foot in back. So make sure you're not doing something like this because it's unstable. Bring this foot behind you. Then attempt to square your hips, square your rib cage. Bend into your front knee. Take that knee and guide it towards the pinky toe side. And make sure you have weight on all four corners of both feet. Inhale your arms out to the side. Now bring them together in the, at the front. Then form Padma. Pinkies and thumbs up touching. Soften your shoulders and bring this in front of your heart space. 
And breathe here, knowing you can be a soft, gentle soul and still a warrior at the same time. Breathe in and breathe out. Come onto the ball of your back foot and step your feet together. And take a moment in the Kaga of Lotus Point Mountain Mudra. Hmm. Feels nice to be in this one. And then step your other foot back. And the other foot in front. I didn't drop the mudra, you don't have to. Bend into the front knee. Make sure you're in the same comfort zone as you were before. Breathing in. Breathing out. Notice what's present for you. Notice the counterplay of being soft and light and kind in your heart, rooted into the earth, and at the same time, strong warrior. Follow the back foot, step your feet together. Keep shaking it off a little bit. Shake everything off. Shake it off. Shake off any unkind thoughts, any unkind actions, any unkind things that have happened to you recently, if any. Step yourself into uh, both feet together. And reach your arms out to the side. Halfway flip your palms up and reach up and look up. Inhale, arms down. Step your left foot out and your right foot back. It's like you're drawing a line from your heel to the middle of your arch. And please bring your hands to your head center. Perhaps closing your eyes and feeling yourself rooted to the earth. Feel the oh, feel that. Feel the earth holding you. And feel some gratitude there. Inhale, find the exhalation of your choice. Bend into your front knee, open your arms with your warrior two, and gaze over the other fingers. Strong arms, soft shoulders, feet, heavy on the earth. Reach forward and reach back. Reach forward and back. And we'll ease in your arms. It doesn't have to be rigid at all. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Moving your fingers with lightness, keep your breath going. And then come back to warrior. Bring your front arm up to your leg. And reach up and over. Nice. Extended side angle. One long line of energy. Maybe lifting the arm off of the leg. Then an offering. And keeping it here for support. Breathing in. And you can straighten your front leg, let your arms down, come into triangle pose. Try to elongate both sides of your side bodies. Eventually coming up, find your warrior again. Straighten your front leg, keeping your knee toes parallel, and giving yourself some love on your back. It's nice to do that. Take the right foot, bring it out, align yourself. Bring your hands back to your heart center. Feel yourself and feel your connection to the earth. Breathing in and out. And as you're ready, bend into the front knee. Inhale, exhale, open the first warrior, gazing out at your fingers, feeling the strength from the earth. Feel your body heavy, shoulders light, breathing in and out. Flipping your front palm, reversing the warrior. Wiggling fingers, lighten up your practice, mind thoughts are light. Come back to warrior, inhale, exhale, and come to side angle. Reaching up and over, one more light. Perhaps reaching this front arm in an offering, perhaps not. Take a breath here. Hmm. Reaching into triangle pose. Maybe you look up and maybe you look down. Any way you do it is fine as long as it serves you well. Breathe in and breathe out. We'll come back 
up to warrior. And then step your feet. Kind of the most pointing in just a little bit. Inhale your arms out to the center. Exhale, come halfway down. Just rotate your thighs backwards. And then let your whole body come down. If your hands don't reach, it's okay. You can use something to um, with a block to get up on. You just let yourself hang heavy. Bend your knees just a little bit. Breathe in and out. And take your left hand, put it right in front of your face, and then inhale up your right arm. Keep your pelvis level as best you can. Open your heart to possibility to whatever comes through. Ah, and then exhale, come down. Bend your knees a little. Just sway side to side. Ah. And just stillness. Get the right palm right into the earth. Inhale up the left arm. Gazing up, spiral your body, breathing in and out, opening your heart to possibility and opportunity, and exhale to your right down. Start to walk yourself, bend one knee, then the other, head is heavy, and then start to let your hips be lower. And maybe you come into a side squat. Inhaling, exhaling, keeping the hips low. How does it look? Can you go? Maybe when you come to the side, you bring your hands to your heart center. Maybe. And go to the other side. If that's easy for you. If it's not easy, there's no, no need to come into the side squat. But just keep it here. Make a little noise along the way if you want. Eventually come to stillness. Then walk your hands forward. Come into a wide legged down facing dog. Bend one knee, bend the other knee. And breathe in and out. Make this feel good. And then walk yourself to center. Feel it till you get together. Bend your knees and melt your hips. Comes out to the side, put your palms on each other. Bring your palms together, let your thumbs touch your third eye. So maybe think good thoughts, your lips, say good things, and then into your heart space and make that rest there. Breathe. And then bring your hands to your hips. Take your left foot and turn your toe out. Soften the knee that you're standing on. Foot cut to the buoyancy, foot root into the earth, and then bend in like a little curtsy, and then bend out, and in, <laughs> and out. Eventually, come to prepare for tree pose. And get a drizzly, and as you're ready, this foot can come underneath or above it. It's your choice, and then your arms come up. And maybe they sway in. Maybe don't. And then you guys can go center, then you come down. Okay, just move this. Bring your, hand, bring your hands to your hips. This toe curls under. And then start to kind of curtsy in and out. Keep your breath active. Inhaling, expanding. Exhale to condense one more time. Eventually, when your foot turns out the next time, find a dressy, something that doesn't move. Let your roots run deep into the earth. Find some buoyancy in your standing legs so you don't lock me out. And then let your leg drift up. It can stay here, under your knee or above the knee. And then your arms can come right up, kind of like the limbs of a tree. You can sway if you'd like. It's your tree, do what you like. You add your hands to heart center, and then let your tree slowly bend. And take a moment, let your hips go side to side, and then taking your right foot, toes curled under, 
And that surgeon curses you from the other. Feeling a little bit of mobility in the hips, tend to get a little stuck. And we'll do that one more time. And then that skin leg is soft and buoyant, yet solid and rooted into the earth. As your leg drifts up, your foot drifts up, wherever it feels comfortable, just on the knee. And as your arms come up, or your branches, kind of true of you today. I'm a little wobbly. <laughs> and then you can start sending. And try to let your leg come down without falling over. <laughs> and then shake that off just a little bit. Shake it off again, don't shake it off. Ah, bring your feet together. Inhale your arms up. Point your fingers with the steeple together. Inhale to the side. Exhale. And sometimes it's fun to bend this knee and lengthen. Bend it and lengthen. Bend it and lengthen. Can you just some of those muscles that are not as good? Inhale to center. Exhale to the side. And try bending the, the leg that would be right leg. <laughs> bend and straighten. And see how that feels for you. And then come to center. Bring your arms out. Flip your palms up, and then come down. Bring your hands to your heart center. You can come down in a yoga squat. So look straight ahead as Dristi. Bend your knees, keep your toes together, heels together. And see if you can get Dristi and be stable in this position. If you can't do it, don't. And then let your knees come apart. Reach your hands forward. And then bow your head forward. If it's accessible to you, reach for your heels. And then to go on your toes. Shake your head yes and no. Bow your head. Ah. And then uh, bring yourself to face this way. And into Balasana. Your heels are down and your elbows nudge your knees apart. Pull it, cinch up your spine, up to straight ahead, and prepare to try a Kasana, a Crow Pose. Bring your fingers wide in front of you, lift your hips, and block yourself towards your arms. I like to bring my knee into my upper arms and look out ahead of myself. Maybe bring one foot up and the other. Just depends on how you're doing today. So, I'm not rocking the color curl that well today, but I'm going to try, try it again. Be kind to myself. No one. You see how it comes. And then come back and sit down. Now, every day, do you do every pose perfectly? And then tucking in the right leg. Relaxing the foot, left foot, elongating the spine. Hmm. Taking your tender fingers on each side of the leg. Inhale. And come with a long spine towards your knee. And then bring your hands down around your spine and softly. Hmm. Breathe in. Your right hand, reach it in front of you. If you're going to stir up something good, plant that hand, let the left hand come up and over as your hips press forward. And then come on back down. Switch your legs, bring the left leg in, flexing the right foot, tenting the fingers, turning ever so slightly, long spine. Inhale. Exhale, come down towards that leg. Bring your hands to your leg. Soften here for a moment. Breathe in and out. Hmm. Yeah. Reaching the left arm in front. Stirring somebody, something. Planting your hand. 
And then right arm comes up, pushing your hips up, forward. And then coming right back down. Bring your feet together. In Baddha Kapasana, a butterfly pose, and just flutter your wings a little, rock side to side. If your breath is activated, breathing is good. A couple of options here to come forward. You can keep your feet right where they are, push them forward a little. Close onto your feet, inhale, long spine and softly. And some people have the flexibility to go right one way, but to bring your hands under and come this way and then soften. Whatever way you do it, that serves you best. Coming into a forward fold. Keep your feet down. Breathe in now, and bring yourself back up. Extend the legs along, bring your hands behind you, lift your hips to counter pose, maybe your head comes back a little bit. And then come to sit. Catch your dead dots in the coming. Flex your feet, elongate your spine, hands to your heart center. Take a sun breath. Inhale, reach behind you. And then a little while sky come into a forward fold. Maybe your feet front your hands, your hands on your feet. There you go. Just soften here. Soften, soften, soften. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Walk yourself up. Plant your hands behind you and put your feet too. Push your hips up, that may be nestle your head in between your shoulders. Come back and sit down. Keep your hands behind your knees. And start to rock a little ice behind your heel. Shoulders being as any practice. If you like to just shoulder stand. And eventually, come on lay down. Rest yourself for a moment. Take flat palms in your heart. Feel your heart beating. <sighs> Gratitude. Bring your feet together. And then bring your hands under your hips. Bend your elbows. And then bring yourself into fish pose. If this isn't a pose that works for you, don't do it. And point your toes. And open your mouth. Blah. And then slide up back. Your legs then come into your chest. Draw your knees into your chest. Draw some circles on the ceiling, one way and the other. It's nice to do so. And then taking your right foot to the earth, left leg comes up, and hold on behind your shin, behind your knee, your thigh, wherever's good for you. This foot can be pointed or flexed. And then draw your head toward your knee. And breathe. It's okay to do this. It's okay not to do it. What's right for you to know? Oh, and eventually. Head comes down. Let that leg come down slowly. Mindfully. Rest there for a moment. Bring the left foot onto the earth. As the right leg comes up, reach your arms up. Draw your head up. Breathing in and out. Maybe your arms come alongside your leg. And then come on back down. Resting just for a moment. Prepare for bridge pose. On the inhale, the arms will come overhead, push your feet into the earth, and then exhale, the arms will come back to the hips. So inhaling up, feeling back your heart as you exhale down. Inhaling to come up. Exhale, coming down. You might feel your lungs there. One more inhale up. Exhale down. 
friend, if it feels like a good pose for you, you can give me a Vardakanasana here, grab your feet together, or maybe turn that into a happy baby pose, where you reach for the outside of your foot, attempting to bring your knees into your shoulders, and rise side to side. Let it be right and easy. Feel the lightness in your heart space now. And taking any movements that you can take you to that you might feel so serve your best as you prepare for Shavasana. So Shavasana can be taken this way. Then you bring your knees to knock in together. Hands can be on your belly. You can lay on your belly or your side. I'll come up to sit to guide you through. But please allow yourself to find comfort and support from the earth. Comfort, support, ease, and grace. Allow the body to become heavy and to rest into the earth. The earth will support you. The earth will support you. Let your bones become heavy. Bones heavy, muscles light. Feel the crown of the head release into the earth. Let the eyes rest in your sockets. Eyes resting in your sockets. Ears just listening. And your ears listen. Hear the sound in your home, your inner landscape. And then hear the sound. Ears hearing sounds. Lots of sounds. And then let your ears hear the sounds. Noticing as that sound fades into the distance. And bring awareness to your nose as you feel your breath coming in and out. Hmm. Touching the tongue to the roof of the mouth, letting it fall away. Softening your pride moves ever so gently. Right shoulder releases on the left. The whole right arm and the whole left. Heavy and light. Back body heavy. Front body heavy. Hips loose and surrender to the earth. The right leg that's controlling the left leg. The whole body rests and stillness. And bring awareness to your first chakra, the lower spine. Telling yourself you are safe and safe. Awareness comes to the front of your body, to the hips, to the hip points, telling yourself that you are accepting who you are and what is happening in this moment. Awareness to the belly, where you tell yourself you have power and you're powered. Noticing your heart, bring whatever state you observe here and content and wow and human. I am blissful. And feeling the throat space, knowing you are true, you are true. Good, um, I am in trust. Circling the whole body with the loving, kind light that keeps you in your health space. Taking time to rest in Shavasana. You can take as long as you want in Shavasana. Just pausing, just breathing. But eventually you'll come to your right or left side, pausing here, bring your hand to your heart space and push up to see it. And when you get to see it, get comfortable again with your sitting bones moving to the earth, finding comfort here, the, the spine growing a little taller, shoulders away from the ears. Okay. Slightly tucking the chin. And we'll find Padma Mudra with the pinkies and thumbs touching. Lotus flower. Lotus flower is coming from the darkness into the light, knowing that darkness and light exist. Dark days and light days and dark days and light days. Um, as we're here, let's share a few breaths of ease. So just let your breath enter your body and exit without any effort. Breathe in. And just slide out. 
breathe in. Ease your breath. Draw your palms together. Loka Samasta Sukhina Bhavati. May all beings everywhere be happy, be free from no all pain and suffering. Be kind and loving. Let's take a, a breath in and then all together. Breathe in. Ah. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.